Hi, in this quick tip, we're going to cover how to ensure high performance for your WordPress site. This means that your site will load quickly, work efficiently, and remain responsive for user interactions. The first place to start is with your theme. If you built your site from scratch, you'll want to ensure that you don't have extraneous JavaScript on the front end, that all your images are well optimized and possibly served via CDN, and that you don't have PHP on the back end that's slowing things down. A tool like Pingdom can help you identify elements that you could optimize to improve the initial load time and performance of your site. From your theme, you want to move on to your plugins. If a plugin has inefficient code, that code will affect the overall performance of your site. An easy way to test for inefficient plugins is to use a plugin like the Plugin Performance Profiler. This plugin will help you easily identify other inefficient plugins. If you identify a specific plugin that is slowing down your site, you could then find and test an alternative one that will still address your needs without negatively affecting the performance. In general, plugins that run a lot of front-end JavaScript on the site, like overdone social sharing plugins, will also slow down the load time of your site. Once you've ensured that the code you wrote and the plugins you use are not slowing down your site, you can move on to taking steps to speeding up your baseline performance using things like caching. Caching takes dynamic parts of your site, ones that would need to access the database before loading the page, and turns them into static content that will load faster. Look into using a plugin like the W3 Total Cache plugin to help cache your site and make it load faster. There are also plugins like WP Database Optimizer that can help regularly and automatically clean up and optimize your database. You will also want to enable Mod Deflate on your server to compress your files at the server level before sending them to the client side. You can find instructions for how to do this in the Media Temple knowledge base. All of these steps mentioned will help you improve the performance of your WordPress site. Let's review them all one last time. Test your theme, test your plugins, install a caching plugin, optimize the database, and enable mod deflate. As one final note, it's always a good idea to install a backup plugin to create regular backups of your WordPress files and database. I'm a fan of the Backup WordPress plugin. So there you have it, some important steps to take to optimize your WordPress site.